Hi friends, this is Neha from SN Creatives and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful floral watercolor wedding invitation from scratch. Now if you're trying to create wedding invitations on a budget, maybe you are a DIY bride, you're having a DIY wedding, you want to keep all these elements affordable, then this is the right place for you. I'm going to show you how to make a pretty wedding invitation in uh, burgundy and blush pink, you know, typical rich wedding colors. Something like this, maybe not exactly this design, but something like this uh, on Canva. So this is a Canva tutorial. You're going to be learning how to make your own DIY wedding invitations on Canva. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to go to Canva, canva.com. I'm using my free account, so you can do this on your free account. Create a new design. We're going to choose custom size. Over here, select inches. 5 by 7 inches. This is the standard sign for size for wedding invitations. Now, if you want uh, some different size, then of course you can choose that here. But I'm going to go with the 5 by 7 size card today. Create new design. Now we have our canvas here. Now I'm going to be using some watercolor florals for this design and uh, I'm going to be using some of my own. On uh, They are available on my website. So I've selected this Bordeaux pack to use. It's got lovely uh, burgundy and blush pink and some orangey fall hints in it. So this is the pack that I'm going to be using. I have already uploaded them here but if you haven't this is how you upload them okay you basically open your files wherever you've downloaded them you open them here and you simply drag and drop the file into this okay there it's creating it's saving the file here now I already had that here but no problem it will save another version of it over here okay so you just need to to bring a design into Canva, what you need to do is just drag and drop your file from your file manager into Canva and it appears over here. So I think what we're going to start with is with a watercolor base like I'm trying to recreate something similar to this, maybe not exactly the same but something similar so you can see there are little, little bits of watercolor hints in the background. So I'm going to bring in the watercolor splash. This is also included in a uh, in this pack, I think it's available as a bonus. I'm going to just increase the size a little bit. So you can use this symbol here to rotate. Okay. And what I'm going to do is reduce the opacity so that it looks very, very, very pale and very very subtle you see it gives a very very subtle look to our watercolor splash then i'm also going to copy this can use this to just duplicate this exact same part and we can get it over here just a little bit right. so i've got some watercolor textures happening in the background now let's see which floral we like so you can just place them so to place a particular clip art all you have to do is click on it over here once you bring them in you just click on it and it appears over here there you go i don't want them so i just deleted them right. i'm sure if i like this you can easily rotate it to see which way. So I always like it when my leaves are going a little here and a little there. It just adds a little an element of whimsy, which is something that I like. Right. Let's see if we want to put something else. If you want to make an artwork small or large, you just drag and drop at the corners. There's no need to uh, 
hold down the shift key on Canva. In fact, it's better if you don't because it does something else to it. You just drag it at the corners. Click and drag at the corners. I don't know. I think I'm going to stick to this the original file which I had brought in first. Okay. Now I want something at the bottom as well. So let's bring in something else from here. I quite, I quite like this background now. Now you see our watercolor texture looks very, very subtle behind all of this. It looks extremely subtle. It doesn't overtake the design and that's exactly what we wanted. Now, now I'm going to add text after this, but because these are pretty large files, what I will do is I will lock them into place. So when I'm selecting my text in the future, I don't accidentally select the clip art files. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to click on this to lock it, so that way it doesn't randomly get selected and moved. Lock this, so I'm going to, not even able to select this because these are on top, so I'll just leave that. Now I'm going to go to text, we'll start adding our text now. So I'll choose the smallest text because remember this is going to be printed if you want, if you want to print it, then yeah. On 5x7, it's going to look quite big, so we're going to use a small text first. Just say, invited. This is our first line. I'm going to use maybe a simple serif font. I'm going to increase the spacing between the letters because I think it always looks more elegant when you have some more letter spacing. I'm going to reduce the size. I think this is big enough. And see, we could easily select this because these two uh, bits are locked. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to really select this easily. So, okay. And see, Canva offers this automatic magenta line you know these guides and rulers which are very helpful while making design so use that to make sure that your design is centered i'm going to add in the names so i'm going to use a script font for this try out a few fonts if you want you can always upload a font but that's a pro feature so if you don't want to pay for the extra uh, pro features then you can just use one of the free fonts that it already includes in the pack okay. I think I'll stick to this you can also increase the font size by dragging at the corners and I'm going to reduce the line height a little bit Ampersand sign. I want a little stylized ampersand, so I'm going to search for a font which has a nice ampersand sign. Mm -hmm. Yep, Alice has a nice ampersand sign. Usually, serif fonts come with a lovely ampersand sign, uh, and I love using them in uh, wedding invitation de designs. Right. just add so much character to a design but I don't want it to be centered so I replace this in the center and I remove this a little bit to the left now you see canvas giving me these very helpful guides okay now I'm gonna put the groom's name uh, in this font so I'm just gonna duplicate this take it to the other side Okay, 
if you feel anything doesn't look centered, you can just move them around a little bit. And then I'm going to have more text in this font, so I'm just going to duplicate this. Come to the center. I'm going to make this bold and slightly larger size but the whole thing what I will do is I will just make this gaps okay. to emphasize the date and time Duplicate this. In your address here. Now I feel like I've run out of space, so I'm gonna move this a little bit below, like down. So I'm gonna unlock it, reduce the size a little bit, and just move it maybe a little bit. You know, the beauty of designing your own invitations is that you have a lot of wiggle room to really customize it and make it so that it suits your purposes. And you get something unique at the end of it. Nobody else will have the same design as you. I'm going to move everything a little bit up. If you want to select multiple things, then just click on one, then hold down the shift key and click on the others and all of those get selected. But didn't move. I think I deselected that by mistake. So this is what happens when there are lots of large elements. That's why we locked these. Now I'm okay with this size, so I'm just going to go back and lock it before I mess that up. Okay. I'm just going to move that up a little bit. Because I want to write reception to follow over here, and I want it in this font. So I'm just going to go and duplicate it. I will need it to be as large as the names. Just a small point. And again, I love these guides. Very helpful. Yep. Okay, so there you go. We have our design now. I quite like this. I'm satisfied with it. So I'm going to stop here. But of course, you're free to play around and really, you know, uh, adjust things till you're satisfied with it you can try out many other different layouts and patterns maybe different florals different watercolors I'm also going to be making a tutorial on how to make a watercolor uh, invitation like with just an abstract watercolor splash in the background uh, so yeah but I'm happy with this now it's time to save it so when it comes to saving it you click on download and in the free version, this is the highest resolution file that you'll get as a PNG. So if you're going to be sending it only as a digital file, then you can save it as a PNG or as a JPG. Both are fine. 
But for printing, please do save it as a PDF print quality because this is the only option that Canva free account has where you can save your files at 300 dpi and that's very important if you don't save it at 300 dpi and print it at 300 dpi then your files and your prints will end up looking blurry so it's very important to save it as pdf and if you want to save it as a 300 dpi pdf and then convert it to a 300 dpi jpeg don't save it as a jpeg over here directly save it as a pdf and then use an online pdf to jpeg converter to uh, convert it you have those free converters available okay. so we're just going to save it as a pdf okay if you want you can get these crop marks and bleed in i don't want it right now so i'm just going to download it and it will get saved wherever your default downloads are saved and there you go there's my design wait where's the rest of my design showing here there it is it just took a little while to load <laughs> i was worried over there for a minute about half my text missing but it was here all's good here it is my final completed design and i love how it's turned out i love the subtle watercolor happening in the background and the burgundy and blush pink florals uh yeah so this is my design i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope this tutorial is going to help you create your own diy floral watercolor wedding invitations and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and uh, i'll be leaving a link down below for this fl these florals uh, so you can also get them if you like if you'd like to use them thank you so much for watching